Hey guys, welcome back to Double EXP. I'm Nath. And I'm Chase. We're playing some Mass Effect 2. We are we are getting led into battle right yeah, now. Yeah, we are. Oh, she looks cool. Here he goes. Oh, he actually shot something. Oh, I wish he would have actually done something cool. <laughs> he is going to die. Oh, poor. Ooh. I actually don't feel bad. That was pretty funny. <laughs> They're just cute little nads, you know? Got wrecked. Oh, God. This is a big fight. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward intro. <laughs> yeah. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First, a Justicar shows up. Now, you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Oh, she's throwing one of those things at me. No. No, not toxic. Not toxic. Dear God, I made a mistake. Oh, actually, that oh. was pretty freaking cool. That's pretty good. No, you can't stay there. I kind of, I kind of like that about this fight actually, because it makes you not stay behind the same wall and just fight like a wuss. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna switch my hand. That was the wrong one. Oh, she's almost dead already. Oh, did you see me freaking alley for just there? <laughs> you just went to another one. Oh, never mind. I thought the, the toxic was gonna get Who you was over yelling? There. <laughs> did I glitch her into like a wall or something? I don't know. Oh. Did you see that though? I knocked her into the air and then she got uh yeah. she got freaking knocked that way. <laughs> Maybe it was this person. Oh yeah. Whatever that was. Yeah, whatever I did there. That's cause um it's it's really cool because Thane also has throw, which is kinda like a it's kinda like a concussion gr concussion grenade. Yeah. It's just the one that knocks them back. Like I used to use all the time. Mm -hmm. We'll say is we'll say we'll say is data pad. Show me to the bone. Copy that it. must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? I'll look around. We first. get time. Let's look around some more. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Like this hackable terminal. Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, it's that one. <laughs> I'm glad I get three three strikes. Yeah. It's nice. Good whamp. Is that all? Boop, boop. I like the alley-oop move, though, that we can do. Like I knock them in the air, and then someone else just blasts them across the sky. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty I sweet. I guess we can leave now. Uh, I don't know what I have to do to leave. Do I have to, like, literally walk all the way back out? I don't know. I feel like I probably do. So let's head that direction. Oh. See, whenever, whenever we were doing that. Oh, level, here we go. We're should we okay. go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. It's all good. Don't worry. Yeah, it's I was, all good. Yeah, I was going to say, if they make us walk all the way back there, but then earlier they just insta-teleported us to that that uh, that guy, like when he was right outside, mm -hmm. he's going to be like real confused. Let's go get the side quest. Oh, wait. Thank you for removing Let's talk the to him. Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Months doesn't <laughs> seem like a long time. <laughs> Merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping I did. manifest that belongs to me? I'm renegade, we so what's it worth to you? Manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. That does seem like a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Is she gonna be in here, or do we have to? You have to go back. Oh, she's right there. 
Okay. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. She's just meditating up here. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. Well. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates Ooh, your decisions. I'm, I'm pulling rank on her. Let's see what happens. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths. The third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion <laughs> on the situation. <laughs> Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. Are we gonna have a ceremony? Ooh. Oh. She just swore her fealty to me, like I'm a king or something. Or a queen, actually. <laughs> By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. This is an interesting little thing. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Now you have to do whatever I tell you. I am sworn to you. Do not make more of it than that. Shall we return to your ship? Yeah. Yes. yes. Let's go. We got level up. Mission complete. We got a bunch of good stuff. All right, cool. It's pretty good, dude. Mm-hmm. Good job there, buddy. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. I thought you'd be proud of me, Dad. <laughs> you didn't die, so. Oh, that's true. That was pretty good. Dang. It's pretty good that you didn't die. All right. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. I don't understand Thank why you. Jacob has to talk to everyone. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. With what we're planning, we need all the experienced people we can get. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's two down of the new peeps. Nice. Got some renegades and some biotics and some... Come on, switch for me. Some more biotics and I think that's it. But we can go actually buy those upgrades too. I don't think I have any actual weapon upgrades. So biotic damage. We'll research that. More damage from us is awesome. More cooldown for us is awesome. Ooh. Ooh. More duration is awesome. So we just got all the things. Holy jeez. More more barriers. Even better. As a barrier heavy class. Sometimes when my shields go down, they're instantly restored. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Aren't yeah. you glad I farmed so that I have money for all this already? Yeah. More tech damage. That's good for Garrus. Oh wait, tech cooldowns. That's also cool. Alright, what's this last thing? We need one more damage protection upgrade. Okay. And that's it. Okay, cool. Nice. We got a bunch of new stuffs there. That's all gonna have to show us again. I don't know why that's a thing. Fane would like to speak with you, Commander. Oh yeah, we should go talk to the peeps and get their missions. So let's go... Talking to everyone? No, 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 just the new people. Just the new people. Fane and Samara. We'll, we'll get some more info on them and hear their backstories a little bit. I don't remember what room Thane is in. I think he's in this one, though. Yeah, there he is. Alright, dude, let's have a chat. Shepard, 
I mentioned when we met on Ilium that I was dying. It's called Keprel's Syndrome. It's not communicable, but I have less than a year to live. Is that what you called me here for? I wasn't worried about it. No, <laughs> but as I face the end of my body's time here, I find myself dwelling on my mistakes. He's got, he's got some weapons. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. If you have a son, will you name him Kolyat? No. Dang it. All right, you spawned. Organic no, I will species not. tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I, I had to try, though, right? To trace I had to try. I don't know about have or having to try, but, it does what it you know, wills. you're free to, I guess. If I, if I, like, if we do have a kid, we'll have BS. nine months to pick a name. Because at the moment, I have no clue. That's <laughs> true. I could discover no more. When there's a chance, we'll stop at the Citadel. But more than one person will die if we don't stop the Collectors. Yes, of course. I'll be meditating until you need me. There we go. So we got his mission. Now let's go talk to Samara. I think she's on the other side. I think she's on this side. <clears throat> Just meditating away. That would be a cool spot to sit. Yeah. Be yeah. pretty intense. Just have glowing eyes and a ball of energy. <laughs> How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you. And well, I thought she had. I thought she had her side mission. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the collectors need to be fought. When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Dang. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. I feel like whenever you talk you to her, it is she never looks you in the I eye. I need to know if this will impact the mission. <laughs> it will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard what you, rumors, uh, what, what, what do you think? I've learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for she like stares off. the opinions of others. Yeah, when she Why talks to anybody. To work for Cerberus yeah, when you didn't have first -hand knowledge? I don't know. I work for it's just how some people are. Our I'll let you go. Be different, but our goals eh. I, I mean, I in this game, even when people are looking each other in the eye, it looks like they're staring off into nothing. I guess that's true. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I got for this one. We'll catch you guys next time. This is Double XP. I'm Nav. I'm Chase. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching us take names and destroy people in Mass Effect 2. Whew, we're doing a good job. I'm not dying at all, and Nath is not making fun of me for dying at all on any of these episodes ever. But you know what you can do? You know what's freaking awesome? You can go over here to the left of me, and you can watch Nath play Dark Souls 3. We freaking started Dark Souls 3 finally. Oh, my goodness. So go check it out over there, and then hit that sub button. Follow us on these freaking social media things, and then we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.